Hello guys, today I'm going to be setting up the new D3TX Services Valorant script for Chrome Zen console. So first, open up your Zen Studios. After your Zen Studio is open, um, you need to plug in your Zen with your laptop or PC. So for that, let me show you how you can do it. So as you can see, I have my Zen right here front of me so first I need to take the long uh, micro USB C wire and plug it on the right side of the Zen on the right side of the Zen after I plug it in it should connect with my Zen studios so now I'm gonna go into the compiler section file open so for the Valorant skip there are two layouts the Xbox and the PS I'm gonna go with the Xbox after it's open here go to the programmer the six lines drag and drop in the first slot or whichever slot you want and then press resume after it saves to the Zen it should say successful press OK or it just automatically close the OK button. OK. So after you do that, now the now so the first thing you have to do is that you need to take out the right side wire, the micro USB C wire. You need to take that out. After you take that out, you need to grab your micro so uh, your micro USB C wire, which is the smallest wire that you get with the Zen and plug it on the top of the Zen okay after you plug it in your Zen wait five seconds and plug it to your Xbox console or PlayStation whichever you have I'm gonna wait five seconds it, it should go to the sleep uh to sleep mode I will show you what the sleep mode is as you guys can see it went to the sleep mode okay after it went to this screen should plug in your controller wire on the left side on the a1 slot just plug in your controller wire i have a game or uh xbox one okay now it has been connected with my controller so i'm gonna uh press on the right blue button and it's gonna select the valorant script as you guys can see that's the valorant script after it selects the Valorant script, uh, you need to press your. Con uh, you need to like take your controller, your Xbox controller. At the moment, I'm gonna be making an Xbox tutorial. You need to press your LT plus like this one, the LT, uh, this one LT plus the menu button. After you press it, you're gonna go in the Cronus Zen menu. To go around the menu, just use the D-pad, this one, D-pad up and down. That, as you guys can see, I'm going down now to rapid fire, burst fire, reload cancel, B hope, AI don't recoil, AI AA, uh, AI AA, it's aim assist, Velo aim assist, D3TX. This is a special aim assist which we added only just for only for you can say for Valorant so you can as I told you you guys can navigate through the script through up and down crowd shoot hair trigger rumble stick cancellation okay and we are back to straight okay so to own any script mode just press the d-pad right left the right left of the d-pad if you don't know which one i'm talking about it's this one this one the right the right one and the left left for off right for on okay okay so now i'm gonna press the right pad the right pad of the d-pad right side of the d-pad okay it should okay for straight it's on button on button it means when you shoot it it shoots straight it's just at that moment like when you shoot it straight right away and then it's ADS only. ADS only means when you hold your LT, your aim button, it will strafe at that moment. You don't need to shoot, it will just straight at that moment. 
and then it's ADS and fire. This is that you need to hold your aim plus the shoot. Like you need to aim and then shoot and then it will uh, do your strafing. This will go right and left automatically. And then there's fire only. Fire only means when you press fire, like when you shoot, it will only strafe then. And then disable. Okay, also, uh, yeah, from here you can choose this. For this, you cannot customize the value as it's already set. The perfect value, you don't need to change anything in this. Now I'm gonna go down to rapid fire. To customize the value, just press X uh, or A. X or A. As for some modes, it's X, but for some modes, it's A. So just press A. After you press A, Oh, okay, okay, the script just went to sleeper mode, my bad. Okay, so for strafe, I'm just gonna do fire only, as that's a really good one. I can ADS, and when I fire, when I shoot, it just goes left and right. That's really good, or it's on your, like, whichever you want to do, you can do. Because every one of them is your gameplay, your game style. So select according to your style, okay? Uh... Uh, okay, for strafe, I will go for fire only. Okay, for rapid fire, for rapid fire, it's on fire, ADS and fire, fire only, and disabled. On fire, that means when you fire, uh, like on fire, it means just it's just gonna fire whenever you're gonna shoot. For ADS and fire, you need to aim and then fire for fire only. When you fire, it's just gonna work, activate the mode. Then, okay, to to customize the value, just press A. And it should show you F, uh, RF hold value with the RF release, RF, and that's that's the only two value. I recommend do not change the value, but if you do want to change the value, you can change the value by pressing the LT and the D-pad up, D-pad down, D-pad up, D-pad down. Okay, it will change in tens. If you want to change in ones, it's LT and the D-pad left or D-pad right. It's gonna then change in single value. Okay, I recommend do not change, but if you do wanna change, sure, check it out. As the script is yours, it customizes as much as you want. The, the script is meant for you to be customized as, as much as you want. Okay, so for release, and I'm just gonna make sure it's default. If you guys wanna customize, go ahead, customize. I don't care because it's still gonna work it's it's a really perfect script okay then just press B it's gonna back out from that mode uh, for this I'm just gonna choose um, ADS and fire okay now burst fire I'm not gonna use burst fire as I already have the rapid fire rapid fire is like shooting pistol really fast okay for burst fire it's like if you have 20 or if you have six rounds in your pistol is gonna shoot three instantly and then it's gonna shoot three right after when the three is done okay so that's what's burst fire on fire ADS fire only whichever you want it's on you press a if you want to customize it you're gonna have burst hold and burst reset that's the only two I already told you how to customize this to press your aim key d-pad up or d-pad down that's it and for single aim key, LT I mean, aim key is the LT key on Xbox. And hold it right left for single value edits. Go back. Then I'm gonna go for reload cancel. Just turn it on. You don't need to customize anything. Uh, as you guys can see, no edit variable for this mode. You don't need to edit anything in this mode. It's already perfectly set for you. For B hope, just go in. Uh, and you don't need to edit anything it's already set for you guys then AI anti-recoil now we're to the main part that anti-recoil which every one of you guys have problem with is I'm gonna show you how to easily set up your anti-recoil so first AI so manually okay so let me tell you what's manually and automatically so manually what's manually manually is like you need to manually change the guns the guns recoil like if you have AR and pistol right you need to manually change from 
uh, AR2 pistol in your Zen for automatically, which is the best one, I recommend you use that. For automatically, when you press Y, it's gonna automatically change. So it's, it's the best like thing you can actually have. So let's say you have a sniper and a pistol, right? For the sniper, the record is gonna turn off automatically. For the pistol, it's still gonna turn on. Plus the rapid fire and the mosey of shooting. Okay, so that's how I recommend automatically. It's really perfect for every gun, every sniper, every pistol, every SMG. Just use uh, the automatic to edit it. Of course, press A. Now you can edit the Y value and the X value. Y and uh, Y and X. My bad. We and H. Okay, we and H. So, if you guys don't know what's V and what's H, V is like up and down. H is right and left. If you want to go it negatively, like if the gun is shooting on the right side and you want to make it go left, just press your A key and D pad left. And if you want to go by tens, of course, A key, D pad down. Really easy. But I don't want to change anything right now as I'm not in game. Oh, okay for y value is just up and down so if uh, if the recoil is too much just change it like to 30 or 40 it's too much but I recommend like 30 or 25 is really good okay also again I'm telling you guys to change the values aim key and d-pad left up or down you need to press the aim key the LT okay just make sure Okay, now let's go to the AI aim assist. AA, it's aim assist. Don't ask stupid question about what the fuck is AI. AA, it's aim assist. Aim and assist. Okay. For this, just turn it on to customize. Press A. Then you're gonna see we and we and only the we value because it's a steady aim and you don't need to change it much. But if you wanna do change it. I recommend staying below 20, like 18, 18 is really good, 18 or 15, these good values, you should check out both, or if you guys actually want, you can go above 20, like 22, 25, it depends on your gameplay style, just play, change values, and play according to your gameplay, however you want to customize it, just customize it, now we are to the main well AA it's not the main it's a secondary aim assist this is just a steady aim this is a secondary this is the main aim assist okay for the well just turn it on a time and size time time is like a circle you can say it as an FOE okay how like in the circle it will go in a circle okay I recommend just just leave it at 20 leave it at 15 don't go like don't change this well oh, AA don't change the values on this for D2TX this is a special aim assist D2TX aim assist for this you can choose a uh, shape helix spiral wide oval whole oval circular disable helix again okay which are we wanna go with circular is a circle I will actually gonna show you what the circle looks like uh, okay uh, so I recommend just go with uh, circular or spiral but it of course in the end of the day it depends on your game style your gameplay how you want to play with it so just try out all of those I'm gonna just go with the circular as that's the basic then just press a on it and radius and steps radius I recommend for as at the moment the, the game is in beta right so just keep it about like 40 uh keep it about like oh wait i think you shouldn't like uh change the value as much on the script as the 30 is the max on this so don't change anything on this just leave it at 30 for this leave it at 15 maximum go for 20 that's it don't go above 20 I, it's actually gonna be so shaky you can't be able to play okay uh, that's it whichever you want to use depends which shape you want 
and that's also crouch shot. Crouch shot is like when you shoot, it crouches automatically. Because in Valorant, if you see a lot of players use this mod, if you want it on, just play it really. I don't want to use this. So I'm just gonna hair trigger on rumble. Oh, also, I already have here here these things on my controller, so I don't want to enable it. Just I'm gonna make it off. But I do recommend if you don't have these things on a controller like inbuilt, turn it on. It's really game changing. Rumble blocks the vibration on your controller. Stick drift removes stick drift, uh, and you can actually customize it. Because if you know in some games you cannot do it so if it's like too much uh, going on the right or the aim is messing up just make it about five six and check it out the stick zone the it's it will be fixed okay it's a really good mode you should try it out and that's it for this and also it automatically saves all of your stuff to do not need to worry about it's gonna you need to do it again. no also now i'm gonna show you about the why the when you press the why it's gonna go it, this is your anti-recoil thing plus your modes okay this is for the modes and your anti-recoil and your aim assist so primary is your main gun secondary is your pistol primary and pistol okay so that's it for me i hope you guys i'm gonna see you guys in the next video actually which is gonna be probably about goat slayer uh tutorial on how to set that up okay and if you guys want to buy this script just go to my patreon legendary tier only only in legendary tier you're gonna find this script you can buy it from there thank you guys for watching and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace